Hi, this is Robin Sampson with BibleJournalLove.com. This is a quick tutorial to show you how to change the color of an element. And today we're going to change the color of this word art uh, scripture. Psalms 46.1 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And there's a little compass on top. So what we're going to do, we're in the expert window. Go over to the layers mode and make sure that this is selected. Then go to edit, fill layer. And when you go to fill the layer, watch what happens. Wrong. This is not what you want to do. So let me go back. Command Z. Thank you, God, for Command Z. Command Z is undo on a Mac. Com Control Z is undo on a PC. So let's go back to edit and fill layer, but this time make sure preserve transparency is checked. And now we can find a color. You could use the color. It says foreground color or background color, and I don't want either one of those. I want to try white. So it'll pop up and I'll select the white, and I already have preserve transparency. So preserve transparency. Look at that, and now we have, and this looks better in white, I think. So let's look at this other one. This one is a group because I put this little hourglass in, in the words. So that's just one way to do word art is to start with one big word and then little words and then leave a space and put a little icon inside. That's one real neat way to do word art. But now I've grouped the two, and the way I group them, let me ungroup them so I can show you how I grouped them. I selected both layers, clicking on the first layer, then holding my shift key and clicking on the second layer. And then I hit Command G on a Mac, Control G on a PC, and that groups it, which is really great because now you can move it around without it coming apart. But now I want to color both of them. If I only wanted to color one, I would ungroup them. Let's just color both of them, and the way I have to do that, I, I cannot do it from here. The fill layer is not available. So what we need to do is go to layer, simplify layer, and that puts them together. And now they're together. Now they cannot be ungrouped at this point. So if you wanted a, a set that was still grouped, you could make a copy before you do this. And then we'll go to edit, fill layer, color, preserve transparency is checked, and choose white. There we are. This is a paper that is from my store, Traveler's Notebook Papers. And one thing I wanted to show you about how you can use this is now that I have these and I know I'm going to use them, I can go and see what if it, I wanted to try a different paper. Well, it's real easy. I already put another one behind this. And I'll turn this one off, and now I can see how it looks in this paper. I think it looks a lot better in the red, so I'll leave it there. But that's just to give you an idea. You could put every one of these papers underneath it and see if this one of them looked better than another. Another thing we have is these art journaling bits. There are several in the store. I wanted to bring one over and show you that you can do the same thing with these. That's one of the great things about Bible journaling digitally is you can use these elements over and over, recolor them, resize them, and everything that you need to get a lot more use out of it, more bang for your buck. But you can use the same principle that I just showed you on how to do that. So super quick tutorial just to let you know that it's available and how to do the edit fill. Bye-bye for now.